Hey guys, in this video I would like to show you how you can deploy and verify smart contracts to the Rinkeby network using Etherlime. Etherlime is Ethereum uh, development framework based on ethers.js. So um, it's something like Truffle, but the main difference is that it's not using Web3, but it's using um, ethers.js. So um, you have uh, a bit more control over the deployment process of your smart contracts. And um, you can uh, actually um, do pretty much the same stuff you can do uh, with uh, the truffle. So um, yeah, ethers.js is a library uh, which uh, allows you to interact with the Ethereum network. So first of all, we're gonna install Etherlime globally uh, in our system. It will take some time depending on how NPM works today and how is your uh, network connection. But yeah, now Etherlime is installed to my system so I can just initialize a new um, project uh, on my drive and as you can see uh, this command generates some files and directories um, by default we are getting some simple smart contracts some simple smart contract written in solidity and this smart contract allows you to create limes uh, by interacting with with it and you have a public uh, way to get the array of all limes added to the smart contract. So now I will compile this smart contract using etherlime compile command. And this command, the output of this command is a new folder with a JSON file file inside and this JSON file um, consists uh, the ABI code of our smart contract and once we have ABI we can use it in our applications to start interacting with a deployed smart contract or we can use this ABI code to um, deployment process. So by default um, the Etherlime has Ganache deployment which is not interesting to us in this video because we we want to deploy and verify uh, our smart contract to the Rinkeby network. And for that, we will use a function called Infura private key deployer. And this uh, function takes a couple parameters. The first one is the private key. Um, so we need a private key of the deployer and the deployer is the person who uh, pays uh, the, gas uh, the gas for this transaction. And then uh, we need to specify to which uh, network uh, we want to uh, deploy. Of course, those variables are not working. Um, but we will fix this in the moment using um, .env and .env is a nice library that you should use in your JavaScript projects. And then um, if we want to verify our app, we need to have the etherscan API key, uh, which also we need to um, submit um, to the deployer object by uh, set verifier API key function. Um, then we need uh, to um, deploy actually <laughs> our smart contract. So we need to await uh, deployer dot uh, deploy and verify. And as a parameter to this function, we are passing uh, the smart contract, which we actually want to deploy. So it's a Lime factory. This is um, the smart contract uh, which we have by default, but of course it can be any other um, smart contract that you write using solidity into this project. So uh, let's install .env. .env is a nice tool uh, which allows you to keep your secrets like API keys or private keys uh, in, in some file. This file of course uh, shouldn't be uh, submitted to repository because we don't want uh, the private keys and API keys to leave actually uh, your workspace. Uh, so um, yeah, I will paste here the credentials um, to this .env file and now we can uh, just um, 
just use those variables from this file by requiring env and running a config function on it. And uh, once we uh, do this, we have access to those uh, variables by process.env and the name of um, the variable that we have specified in the .env file. So if this is something not clear to you with .env, I highly recommend you to check their documentation. So um, when we want to deploy something to Rinkeby, uh, we need to have money. We need to have Ethereum to cover the costs of the gas uh, transaction. So I have here uh, some account without any Ether on it. And now I will tweet my public address. And this is uh, some kind of security of the Rinkeby uh, testnet. So um, some hackers cannot, you know, abuse the network and just uh, get as much much ether as they can and just you know deploy or do something bad every few seconds uh, yeah but it takes a couple seconds just to um verify this tweet of course once you get funds you can uh, remove this tweet so your followers are not surprised what the heck this guy just tweeted uh, of course you can use uh, twitter you can use facebook for that uh, and you can see that now my account has some ether that I can use uh, for the transaction but first I need to obtain the private key of this account so I will uh, write my secret password to the MetaMask and I can copy the private key of this account and just submit it here to this .n file then we're gonna use the Rinkeby uh, we need uh, also the API key of the Infura so you can create your very own account on Infura.io. Um, I will not do this now, it's super easy and uh, it costs you nothing. So just for trying things, you can set up some account and then uh, you also would need the API key of the Etherscan.io and this is optional because I think some people uh, don't want to verify their their smart contract but um, yeah if you want to verify your smart contract and make a smart contract a code public so everyone can check it uh, then we would need this step with the verification which is I think interesting and super nice for open source project so our deploy function is ready so we can run the etherlime deploy and this command will run the code from this deploy.js file. Uh, we need to wait a couple seconds because our transaction need to be mined and confirmed uh, by the network. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, our uh, address of our contract, but still we need to uh, wait uh, for the verification of our smart contract um, because right now in the background, the Etherlime is using our API key and contacts uh, Etherscan to uh, confirm the code of our smart contract and yeah this this is a confirmation message and we can check the address of our smart contract very important uh, hint uh, don't check address of your contract at, on the mainnet it should be a rinkeby.etherscan.io and bam you can see that we have a contract source code um, in visible in uh, etherscan.io uh, we can read some data from our smart contract so we can try to get um, some limes from our smart contract but we have we don't have any so right now it doesn't work so let's try to write to our contract of course you need to connect your uh, metamask to the eater scan i already did this but uh, you, you uh, it's very simple you just need to click on one link while using eater scan and now when we are trying to perform some function uh, to the smart contract we need to pay a gas transaction and you uh, we can track uh, the status of our interaction here in MetaMask and um, once our 
transaction got confirmed by the network, we can go and try to read our contract once again. And now we should see uh, the line that we just submitted to our smart contract. And yeah, it worked. So uh, we have our smart contract deployed to the Rinkeby as uh, testnet. Uh, our code is verified so everyone can be sure what our smart contract is doing. And yeah, this, that's all. I hope you will like Etherlime and you will switch from Web3 to ethers.js. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching.